out of the way. Yeah, that's not too bad. A little off. But not horrible. It's always a gamble. You never know how long the buns are going to take. Sometimes you swirl them up and choo choo, couple bobby pins, you're done. Sometimes, sometimes it takes me like a half hour on one side. You know what? That ain't bad. That is not bad. I am like shocked. I actually got this on the first, first try. That never happens. That never happens. I think it's just because I have the camera on. Cool. Well, there you go. Leia, Leia buns are, are go. Okay. Now to just spray the ever living heck out of them. <laughs> oh gosh. Ugh, 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 ugh. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Beauty is pain. Okay. All set. Also, I uh, stopped at Starbucks before I got here and um, I got myself a nice iced uh, green and peach tea, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this is thanks to Brittany who uh, bought me a coffee or a, a green tea as it is. Uh, so thank you so much, Brittany. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sponsoring this video's beverage. Thank you, cheers. Thank you for supporting the channel. So where are we exactly? Well, we are at the Veterans of Foreign Wars post number 4287 here in Orlando, Florida. And uh, although we are going inside the building, we're not checking out the building per se. It's, uh, it's what's in the building that matters. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Uh, today we are at a Star Wars mini toy convention here in Orlando, Florida, as I mentioned, inside of this uh, veterans uh, building here. A uh, very interesting place for a convention, so I'm very excited to uh, get in there, check it out. There should be over 40 booths, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, Star Wars stuff, Star Wars toys, action figures, memorabilia, um, so I'm very excited. The tickets are $5 to get inside of the door and I have some cash on me, so we should be all set. The Princess Leia buns are in place and uh, yeah, I think I am all ready to go. So very, very excited about this. I love doing conventions. Um, and Star Wars is one of my most favorite movies of all time. So the two together should be amazing. So, okay, we're gonna head inside now and check this out. Also, got some plants out here. I approve some agave and some snake plants. Oh yeah, can't escape the plants, everyone. We can't escape the plants, okay. Let's go. All paid up at the door. I got my wristband for the event. Also, I showed this in uh, the RetroCon video that I did, but they do have a bunch of toy shows and conventions and things like that coming up here in the Orlando area. This event in particular is sponsored by the uh, Florida Toy Shows and Expo, so that's what this is this is a part of. And I'll put their information down below here for you as well. But uh, yeah. Keep that in mind. This is what we are dealing with. Just walked in the door, so this whole room in here, absolutely filled to the brim with uh, with Star Wars things. So we're gonna head inside and uh, check some stuff out. Of course, right off the bat, we have a bunch of really cool Star Wars action figures. Very classic looking. I always love the, the Ewoks. They're always my favorite. Also, they got some cups. And here as well, Return of the Jedi, my favorite, favorite Star Wars movie. This is really cool. I just saw these. These are Star Wars napkins, Empire Strikes Back. That is really neat. Perfect for your parties. 
more little uh, little cups, little plastic cups here. I guess I'm a fan of the cups, I don't know. These here are sticker sets, apparently. There are 12 different scenes in the Empire Strike Back and these came from Burger King back in 1881. Actually, it probably started in the 80s, since that's when the this promotion ended, but that's really cool. Tempting, very tempting. Wow, look at all of these tauntauns. There's a bunch of them. They're so cute. And two Jabba's. Found the first Jar Jar of the day. Looks like he was $25. Now he's down to 20. Is today the day I get a Jar Jar? I don't know. I guess it's bad when the battle droids are more expensive than Jar Jar. And does anybody remember the uh, troll dolls from from Star Wars? I sure do. What a crazy uh, movie that one was. This one has a little volleyball. That's kind of cute. But anyway, I was. Uh, this is what drew my attention initially was this cute little uh, R2D2 bag here. Definitely has seen better days. Kind of looks like a lunchbox. It is. It is adorable. It's definitely something I need with my uh, Princess Leia buns. Is like a little R2D2 bag or something. Oh, that Yoda one's pretty cool too. I found another Jar Jar. This one is only four dollars, so that is actually legitimately tempting. Probably should actually get a Jar Jar at some point. But yeah, just kind of pawing through a bunch of these. Uh, Little Star Wars action figures here. Ooh, here's a Qui-Gon. That's pretty cool, too. And this was initially what caught my attention. That's amazing. How much do they want for it? $10. Okay. That's very tempting as well. It's pretty cool. It's a fully posable Anakin Skywalker that is signed by Jake Lloyd. $100. Cool. And yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of action figures here signed signed by some celebrities here. An actual Wookiee one signed by Peter Mayhew. That's really cool. Yeah, lots and lots of action figures, obviously. Memorabilia, all kinds of things that you would expect um, all throughout here. It's it's definitely a small smaller event. Like I said, it's a mini con. So, you know, it's not gonna be like a huge, huge thing like uh, the conventions you might be used to, but these are always really cool to check out as well. Very uh, much more intimate event, and you can actually kind of see things a lot closer too. And look at this little, cute little uh, child action figure. It's so tiny, it's adorable. He's got a little frog too. Of course you got all the pops that you could ever want here as well. Very, very popular. The Pops. Got a few myself, actually. Back home in Pennsylvania. So I was just speaking with this Jedi here, and we just took a photo as well, and apparently, he has a YouTube as well. What's your channel called again? I'm the Batu Brothers. The Batu Brothers. And you were just saying that you were doing, uh, you do like a bunch of like Disney vlogs yeah, and... Basically do Disney vlogs, uh -huh. walk around the parks, a lot uh -huh. of Star Wars stuff and Galaxy. Cool, okay. Gonna be focusing more on like some lightsaber reviews in the future. Uh huh. Oh, neat. Streams. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Cool. I love the live streams. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Well, check them out. I'm definitely gonna check that out. That sounds really awesome. Thanks for speaking with me. May the force be with you. You as well. Thank you. Okay. I just stopped inside of my car really quick to uh, get a drink from my from my green tea and uh, doing a bun check here as well. Everything feels secure. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's, it's definitely a smaller event in there. Um, it's just that one little room, um, but there are a lot of booths and a lot of stuff to see. And um, it's decently packed in there as well. So I'm gonna go back in, do another look, see through all of the things, because I already saw some stuff in there that um, I didn't have a chance to, to look at yet. That was catching my eye. And um, I also wanted to say that I got to hand out a few uh, a few of my stickers today, which is really, really cool. Definitely the highlight of this so far has just been um, chatting with everybody, having a nice long chats with a lot of people today. So anyway, okay. I just did a big circle and now we're gonna head back inside.
These are really cool. These are talking banks. This one doesn't appear to be working, but I think this is really cool because um, my brother had a Star Wars bank that uh, moved. It had C-3PO and R2-D2 on it, so I, always, I like seeing the, the Star Wars banks, but I wanted to show they have a dancing Jar Jar Binks here. Oh man, $30. That's so tempting. I came back to the booth that has the uh, naked Darth Vader. And I actually was just asking them why he's naked. And I guess it's because uh, the clothing that he had was made out of like this really gross kind of like pleather stuff that would like peel and stuff. So that's why he's naked, but he's legitimately, this is what he looks like underneath his robe, apparently. He's pretty buff. So anyway, he's $10 and he's coming home with me. Like I can't not buy this. And also they said it was buy one and then get one half off, so I'm gonna go with the Jar Jar. And if this doesn't tell you anything about me at all, I don't know what will. Aw, look. It's me. She's so cute. I just spent the last of my cash on that naked, uh, naked uh, Darth Vader, so she'll have to stay, but she's adorable. I always, I love these, uh, these are actually part of uh, the Funko brand, the same as the Pops, but these are called Adorbs. And it's because they're so cute, they're so adorable. Going back to the Tauntauns, this booth has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11 Tauntauns. And it's very tempting not to buy them all. If they all weren't, you know, varying prices, and some of them a little bit more on the expensive side, like this guy's $20, but this one's only $8, I'm guessing because it doesn't have a little shadow on them. But uh, I would love to have an army of Tauntauns. That is a goal that I didn't know I uh, needed until until right now. Found another Jar Jar. Here he is. Almost looks like a thing that you stick in your cake or something like that. That is pretty cool. There's a Queen Amidala one in here too. And there's a few other things here besides Star Wars as well. Lots of other stuff actually, but this one caught my eye. It's a classic Frankenstein. Very cool. With posable arms and head. That is legit. $40. That's really, really, really cool. Oh wow. This is an evil Knievel Boba Fett. What? That is legit. $225, that's it should be. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. Wow. I know a lot of people who would uh, flip over this. Okie dokies. Well, that was pretty neat. Again, chatted with a lot of people. A lot of really nice people that I met today. Very, very cool. Easily my favorite part. And um, got a few souvenirs. <laughs> uh, the couple who, who runs that booth to think I'm insane. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I have gleaned everything that I can in there. Showed, obviously, the highlights for me and um, went through all of the booths several times, so I think I'm all set to go. I think, actually, now that I'm here in this area, I might actually head over to Disney Springs and um, just kind of hang out a little bit. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit more. I'll explain that a little bit more in a sec. But, um, I have time. It's still pretty early in the day. I don't have anywhere to be. And, uh, yeah. So, that's what I'm gonna do now. The question is, should I keep the buns or should I take them out? We'll see. Okay. You're coming home with me. Oh, I'm so excited. Jay is gonna love you. Just gotta get this uh, price tag off from around your neck. Naked uh, Darth Vader. Awesome. I'm super, super psyched about this. You know, everybody thinks that Disney is the end all be all for Star Wars and that that's like where you go to get your Star Wars fix and uh, you know, all the ultimate Star Wars uh, stuff. I have a really bad farmer's tan, by the way. I'm noticing that right now. Ugh. Anyway, 
Um, that I have found is not true at all, personally. Because where at Disney are you gonna get this? Nowhere. And we can't forget about Jar Jar either, of course. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Husa Ayusa. Okay. I may have problems. We have officially made it to Disney Springs. As you can see, I am, uh, I did not park in their precious, precious parking garages. I parked here on terra firma on their surface parking and uh, this is actually something that I wanted to do for a while now because this is still original parking for here at Disney or at least you know maybe not the original original but back back in my day this was the parking you parked you parked on the surface right here so this actually feels really really good to park in the in the parking that I'm used to so it's gonna be a bit of a walk to get to to Earl of Sandwich. That's where I'm gonna get some food. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but you know what? It's a beautiful day here again, and I really don't mind the walk at all. Plus, I thought maybe we could um, check out some Star Wars merch while we were here too, just because just to go along with the Star Wars theme of of today so i'll pop into one of their stores here and we'll i'll just take a quick look at the merch the star wars stuff and uh, get some food and then probably head out i actually decided to keep the buns might as well they're still in good shape and whatever we're going with the star wars theme today so i don't mind but um i wanted to say really quick that um you know i'm one of those people that aren't like super super happy with disney right now so um, I've kind of been avoiding covering them a little bit for reasons that I'm not going to talk about um, on here at least. And um, but you know what? Parking here is free. I'm going to be eating at the Earla Sandwich, which I'm sure Disney gets some of that money, but whatever. And um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy enjoy my time here because the thing is, it's like regardless of all of that stuff, Disney is still kind of my home so to me it's kind of like coming back home and uh, I don't know just kind of hanging out so anyway I just wanted to throw that throw that little piece in here as I walk towards the Cirque du Soleil and a helicopter flies overhead I have to say I don't look at aircraft the same way again uh, that I used to after the air show from yesterday so I don't know. I've been in one of those things. Not not that one specifically, but airplanes. Anyway, okay, let's go. In a past security, not a long line like you would get with the uh, parking garages. Something about my bag always, always goes off in the metal detector, so I'm just like automatically ready to have them check it, which I don't care, I don't mind. Okay. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, apparently we're getting a salt and straw here. That's pretty cool. They have this over at Disneyland. It's pretty good. That's exciting. Star Wars Galactic Outpost. Here we come. So obviously we've got like a bunch of shirts and all of the Mandalorian stuff that you could ever want because that's so hot right now. All of the child. More of the child. These are $20 and they are legitimately like pom-poms that you can buy at the craft store. I could I could literally make this myself. Interesting. Okay, back you go. This is actually a really adorable hat. I like that. And also this one, of course, I approve of as well. This is actually really neat. It's a magic band, but it's a slap bracelet. And it has a bunch of the kind of old school, some of the old school Star Wars stuff on there as well. So that's not too bad. That's pretty much it for the Star Wars stuff that I saw that caught my eye. So, you know, the Disney Star Wars things, it's not like totally my jam. There's definitely some cool stuff, but um, yeah, I would go to a, I'd go to a convention any day over the stuff that they have here. But anyway, 
that's beside the point. The line for Earl of Sandwich, literally out the door. So I think I'm actually gonna just go ahead and pass on this and think of a plan B. Seems like everywhere is really busy. I mean, it's spring break time and all of that stuff. It's a weekend, etc. So that's what happens. But I think the plan B is gonna be the protein bar in my backpack. It's definitely becoming quite a cluster of a vlog, of a video. But uh, you know what? This is my day. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to come here to Disney Springs. After the convention, I was in the area. That's my natural inclination is to go here. And um, it's very obvious that the days of just popping over to Disney on a whim are very much over. So, and they've been over, like I know that, but it's kind of sad. But anyway, I'm going to head out. I think I'm gonna head back uh, to Tampa and figure out some food over there. So now this video is just my day. My Sunday with Princess Leia buns. Okay, let's go. And I guess I also might as well mention since I'm here, someday I will do a whole video. Actually, I'll do several videos on Disney Springs because there's a few things that I wanna talk about. Obviously, I have a lot of memories here and I wanna talk about what this place used to be like back in my day. And um, also just kinda show you around and all of that good stuff too. So look forward to that in the future. Probably won't be any time soon, but at some point. Found some turtles, by the way. Always gotta find some kind of nature, some kind of peace of mind. Here we go, these turtles are just chilling. Oh, and I see one right over here too. Peeking his little head out. And there's also some swimming in the water. Over here, lots of turtles. Oh, and more, more sunbathing over here. Wow, the more I look, the more I see turtles. This was actually more what I was trying to articulate at the beginning of this Disney Springs adventure. It was uh, was looking forward to some peace and quiet at Disney, which I know doesn't exist anymore, but I still foolishly feel like I can come here and, and get some of that back. And I do do a degree, especially now that I'm sitting here in this spot, around here, this quiet pathway along here, looking at the toitles. This is what I miss about Disney. And I feel sad because it's like, is that ever gonna ever kind of come back again, like full force? I don't think it will. Just looking at the turtles. Yeah. It's a beautiful day though. It's really nice out. Okay, this guy right here just made the trip totally worth it. Look at him stretching his feet out in the sun. So cute. Also, uh, there's a bird over there. Really cool looking bird. Right down in there. So there you go, nature. We always gotta find the nature. Yeah, definitely making the whole trip. This right here, this turtle and that bird. <laughs> Made the trip. Okay, I'm gonna head back to my car and uh, eat that protein bar that I brought and head back to, uh, head back to Tampa. Bye, bird. Oh, Disney Quest. What have they done to you? The parking lot kind of makes this worth it as well. It's nice to be able to park again on the surface. Haven't been able to do this in a while. I mean, you always can usually park here on the surface, but um, I haven't done it in a while. And it makes me feel like I'm about to go watch a movie at the AMC, go to Disney Quest, meet up with friends, go to the Virgin Record store. Uh, I don't mean to live in the past, but I really do miss it. This parking lot, again, like is kind of dumb as it sounds, brings back a lot of good memories. Yeah. 
Alright, after about a hour and a half or so drive, we have finally made it to an Earl of Sandwich. This one is over in the Tampa area. I haven't tried it yet, passed by it many, many, many times as Tampa J will attest. And every time we pass by it, I'm like, we gotta eat here, I wanna eat here. But we just haven't made it over here yet. So today, I'm making it happen. All right, and I did end up taking down the buns, I figured. Well, they kinda got a little bit messed up as I was driving back, because I usually have my windows down. And I'm noticing, again, wow, my farmer's tan is really bad. Anyway, the point is, we got the goods. So, um, for those who don't know, and I don't know if I really mentioned it in the channel yet, but I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Earl of Sandwich. Like, really, really big fan. It's my favorite place to eat at Disney Springs. And um, when I saw that there was one here in Tampa, I was like beyond excited. So I'm really eager to try this out, see how it compares to Disney Springs. Hopefully it's just as good, but um, here we are. So usually I get their Caprese sandwich. I don't get anything else, just the, just the Caprese sandwich. That's my favorite also, which is. Tastes just like what you get at um. Tastes just like what you get at Disney Springs, except I saw them make it like nice and fresh when I was there waiting for it. Oh my gosh, this is this is where it's at. This was so worth the wait. This was a really good day. Like a really good day. Okay, I'm gonna eat my sandwich now. Also noticing that there is a Target across the street here. So I think once I'm finished up here, I'm gonna just zip over there and grab a few things. Cause, uh, well, I need to grab a few things. So this, this is working out great. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, end it here. Finished up my sandwich, I am sufficiently full. The buns have been released and I'm gonna head across the street Target to pick up a few things because I have a uh, have some stickers that I have to send out to some people so very excited about that need to get some envelopes and uh, things like that so I can send out those stickers to you all so thank you all so much for watching hopefully you had a great time what a weird day <laughs> um, so we went to the Star Wars toy mini con uh, over in Orlando and um, finished up with that and decided to head over to, uh, to Disney Springs and uh, hung out there for a little bit. And now we're here at uh, Earl's Sandwich over in Tampa. So, hey, that was my, that was my Sunday. That's what I did today. And um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, different kind of vlog. We did a lot of things in one day, but uh, hopefully it made it a little bit more interesting. And um, yeah, okay, well, it's target time. Thank you all again very, very much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, your support of the channel has been absolutely amazing. And um, I just appreciate everyone so much for watching, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing, all of that stuff. It means so much to me. And I really hope that you continue to enjoy the channel <laughs> and the direction that it's going and, and all of that stuff. So, okay, without further ado, I'm gonna head out now. Thank you all again. See you next time. Bye-bye. Does anybody else remember when Target actually had a garden center too? Or am I just imagining that? Pretty sure they used to have a garden center. Whatever happened to that? I need to bring, I need to bring that back. A lot of cute note cards here. I think I picked the perfect ones. I'm not gonna show yet, because I want them to be a surprise. But I'm excited about them. Here they got me. Right behind them, candles. So I'm gonna get me a candle as well. Okay, got some puppy pads. 
for Bella. And I'm gonna also pick up some ginger ale for Jay. And per usual at Target, I got way more things than I truly needed. I got this really cute uh, swimsuit top here. It was on sale, so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And uh, I got some shirts in here because they had some really cute, like, 90s looking shirts. And uh, some after, after sun lotion, too, because I'm out of that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I did not need, I did not need those things. But here we are. Here we are. We are gonna go home now, okie day. Okie day. So glad I got that charger. That was a fantastic purchase. Also, can't forget my uh, scantily clad Darth Vader. Because the thing is, and I've, I've been thinking about this, the thing is, you know, this could be like my holiday Darth Vader, you know? Like I could dress him up in clothes and, and like accessories and things like that depending on the holiday, like Christmas time, Halloween, Easter, you know, he could have like a little Easter outfit, a little Easter basket, that could be cute. You know, I can put him in whatever clothes I want to put him in. So this was, I had to get, I had to get him. I had to, okay, all right. This is, this foolishness has gone on long enough. I'm gonna head home now. Bye everybody. Thanks for sticking to the end. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.